Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are finally bringing back the Honda ATC. I know it's been a little bit since I upgraded it and it was complete rubbish at going off road, and then I said it'll be back soon and well tuned. I know I did a couple of updates, but yeah, um, it's back now and I've been tuning it, so let's just jump on and go for a ride. Uh, it's manual now, it's got nitrous too, so that's pretty fun. Now, when I first upgraded it, I had, like, thrown stiffness up, like, like 30,000, and uh, damping up to, like, 5,000 or something. Uh, now, it's at, like, oh, I can't remember, like, 2,500 damping, and something like 15,000 stiffness, or it's lower stiffness. Uh, if any, if anyone watching wants the suspension tuning and stuff, I can do a video on that, as always, but if no one wants it, then I'm not going to do a video on it. Uh, probably, anyway. Um, yeah, so I've been doing that, and I know I just drove up the bank there, but sort of the, the centre wheel being in the centre and not one on each side, like, it being a three wheel instead of four makes it sort of hard to control sometimes, or often it makes it, it's more difficult to drive. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's not horrible, it's just things like that might slip off course a bit more. Because it's got less grip going on the front. But yeah, that's alright. I mean, because front steering. I could throw rear steer on it. Actually, do you know what? I don't think this can have rear steer. Can it? I don't think it can. It'd make sense if it couldn't, to me. Alright, here, this is one of the more challenging bits, I think. So I'm just going to give it the beans. Have I even ever said that on the channel before? I don't know. Anyway, NOS. Whoa. I mean, it could probably do with being a little bit lower. Because um, it has tipped back just a couple of times um, today on this little drive. Not enough to actually tip it right back, but it started to tip back. And that's probably... or Well, that's not ideal, so... I might lower it a little bit more, but then again, it hasn't tipped back properly. So, I think for now, I'll actually keep it. If I keep driving it and it starts to tip back more and it starts pushing my buttons, then maybe I will um, readjust that. Lower the travel just a little bit. Where on earth am I going? I love how I can't drive all of a sudden. I mean, when can I ever drive? I'm joking. Um... So I'm just going to send this. It's, it doesn't have as much much uh, sending power as like a truck or something. And ability to manoeuvre like that. A truck probably would have turned onto the rock, but that just goes alongside the rock. So, I don't know. It's, it's not perfect uh, for off-road, a three-wheel motorbike, but it's not, it's not terrible. I mean, it's probably a lot more stable than a two-wheel, but then again, the physics in this game balance the two-wheel ones pretty well. Um, so, yeah, I don't know, actually. I don't know, I don't hate it. But, I mean, if I'm going off-road, I'm taking a truck. I'm not taking this. If I get my, all my entire garage here, and I'm like, oh, what do I take? And I've got this big built-up truck next to this built-up... ATC, I'm going to take the truck. Unless I'm just in the mood to take the ATC, which I probably wouldn't be, but... Yeah, so, I mean, it's not the it's not the perfect off-road thing, but it's, like... Things like ATV trails, sure. I mean, like, motorbike trails, yeah, easy. I'd be taking that. Or a motorbike or a side-by-side -side or something. That's what we haven't done on the channel! A side-by-side -side build. I have side-by-sides in my garage, but... I haven't featured any of them on the channel. Do you know what? Yo, I'm going to do a side-by-side -side build as one of my next builds coming up. I know in that 50 sub short I did just like very recently. Anyway, thanks for 50 subs. I appreciate it. Um, I There was no side-by-side -side in that sneak peek. Check out the sneak peek if you haven't already. But that doesn't mean I can't do a side-by-side. It was just some vehicles that are coming on the channel. 
Okay, to be honest, the ATC was in it too, so. Um, yeah. It wasn't like all new vehicles, because a couple of them have been seen before. But yeah, alright, let's head down to the mud, because I want to see some mud. I should have given it an OS up that bit just before, like, 20 seconds ago, but never mind, I didn't. Give that a full send. I don't even think we've been in second gear this entire time. I'm not convinced about the steering angle when I'm accelerating. But when it's just rolling, the steering angle's good. Alright, whoa, no, 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 that was an accident. I'm sorry. Should I hit the e-brake instead? Should I give it NOS into the mud? I'll give it NOS in the mud soon. 15 damage. ATCs are hard to damage. I've upgraded the horn a bit, changed it. Anyway, let's just give it everything. Oh, it's far. Holy crap, it is fast. I didn't expect it to go this fast in the mud. You're saving the NOS for this. Yeah, I thought it might get stuck on one of these logs. Holy, how is it going so quick? The NOS isn't even impacting its speed, I don't think. I mean, it was doing 15 when I was accelerating, it was doing 15 with the NOS. We're only at probably like 7 minutes, I guess, so why don't we just go to that gruelling hill climb, as I like to call it. Well, that was a good, that was some good steering angle right there when I was trying to break, not go off into the trees. I thought it was just going to send me off into the trees, but it didn't, luckily for me. And you, because... It would have been a boring bit of the video, trying to get it out of the trees. Anyway, uh, I'll go up the mud. This is just a monster. It's... Look at this. I know I sort of went around the rocks, but... Hey, it's it's making it. Actually, and it's making it look easy, so... Um... Maybe... It's pretty good off road. Yeah, I think it is. I mean, built-up trucks can also just send it up here too, but like... Oh, see, there we go. It was tipping back again. Oh, there we go. Alright. We'll get to the top of here, as we always do. Can I send that? Yes, I can send that. I can send anything, but whether it's a good idea to always send is another question. Alright, let's <laughs> jump. High jump. Well, okay, I'm going to enter the high jump competition with this. Alright. Sorry for the silence. <laughs> Sometimes I just have nothing to say. Usually I just go, alright, or something, but I just had nothing in my mind there. Alright, oh no, 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 that almost went off. I'll just park up on the bridge, because why not? And contemplate my life decisions. Why on earth did I build up an ATC? But hey. I usually give these a rating out of 5, don't I? I'm going to give this one... I want to give it a 5, but it could have been better. So I'm going to give this one a 4. I'm impressed by it, though, actually. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, 4 out of 5, because it tipped back a little bit. It wasn't that... And it wasn't the easiest to control. But I'm actually really impressed. I did not expect it to do this well. Oh, that's the girl on hill climb just down there, right? Eh? Holy, I thought I went off the bridge then. Oh my goodness, I'm glad I didn't. Anyway, uh, 4 out of 5, what do you think? Tell me in the comments, what do you think of the ATC? Will we see more of this? I might lower it just that little bit more. Because I don't think we're going to be going over rocks that are that sharp to just for it to get stuck on. Because it's a pretty short vehicle, especially with these big tyres. But yeah, I'll probably lower it just a little bit more. Probably being the keyword. Might not, but anyway, we'll be seeing this in the future for sure. Thanks for watching. See you next time.